what's up guys? So we got something exciting for you today. Um, we're all about supporting small businesses and there is a local small business that we just wanted to do a review on because we absolutely love her product. Listen guys, I got two words for you and it's two words that are very important and I need you to remember. Hippie soap. All right, so the name of the business is Tag Soapery, straight out of Paris, Illinois, formerly known as Small Town Suds. A wonderful girl named uh, Taryn, Taryn Fuller. We got some of this soap, and uh, we want to kind of tell you guys a little bit about it. Um, now, I would try to explain her mission statement, but I feel like it's easier for her to explain it because she does such a good job. This really resonated with me, but she says, My mission with Tag Soapery is to promote the use of skin-safe and environmentally friendly products while still being able to keep it fun with designs and delicious fragrances. In turn, I promote self-care to the extremes because because it is so important not only for our physical well-being, but also our <laughs> our mental well-being to take time and care of our body and mind. Yeah, so um, she goes into more detail on her Facebook page, which you can find her on Facebook. Um, but in short, uh, she researched for like three years. Yeah. Three years of research and, you know, working at it before she finally was able to create this product. What's really great about it is it's 100% vegan, 100% organic, and it's even packaged 100% plastic free. So that's pretty awesome. Um, but we just recently made a purchase of soaps from her and we're like, you know what? Not only do we support her small business by purchasing the soaps, but we wanna support her business as in throwing this video together um, just giving you our insights on the soaps where it comes to like, you know, designs and smells and how it makes us feel yes. and give back by kind of promoting her product because we absolutely love her product. Yeah. Yeah. She's definitely like not only that, but I would say she's been kind of an inspiration in the community for the youth, or at least that's how I see it because, you know, here's somebody who's going to school, but then also making this awesome business on the side. And it's literally the best soap I've ever had. It's all I use. So, I mean, just yep. anything we can do to help out somebody like that, we're all for. Yes. So yeah. what are we doing today? What do you have planned for me? Um, well, you know, I figured we just kind of wing it. Okay. I like Wing the sound it. of that. Um, so these are all the soaps that we purchased, and then she was kind enough to throw in a couple of extras um, because he didn't really know what scents he liked or anything like this, so it'll be nice to have a little sample and know what he actually enjoys scent-wise. So <laughs> I, I just know I like the soap, man. <laughs> yeah, he, yeah, he will buy basically any scent most of the time, but he might find a favorite. You never know. Give me any hippie soap. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, All right. Which one's first? Okay, so... I say we start with these. Start with these? So this one, should we do one at a time? How about each of us do one at a okay, time? Okay, yeah. Let's then we can it. just go through the lineup and boom. I like the sound of that. I forgot which one this one is already. Okay, so this one right here is grapefruit. Which one do you have? Uh, I've got cherry. So looking at these right away, I definitely love the design of them. Yeah. I love that this actually looks like a grapefruit. It's even got the green on top, kind of like a, a leaf or something attached to a grapefruit, I guess. But um, yeah, very, very nice, very visually appealing. What do you yes. think about it? Yes, I do like... I mean, it's more, oh, <laughs> my bad. Don't waste it. It's more of a simple design, but I actually really enjoy that. So I just, I love the colors and how they're together. Like, it's beautiful. Oh, man. Okay, now here's the smell test. Smell test. Smell test. Grapefruit. Oh, dude. Like, if it wasn't not shaped like a grapefruit and I held it up to my <laughs> nose, <laughs> I would think it was a grapefruit. Like, that is so grapefruit. I'm excited for you to smell this one. Oh, yes. So the grapefruit's giving me some seriously good vibes. Yes. At the end of this, we should rank them. <gasps> Deal. Yes. Okay. All right. Okay. Cool. Should we keep score? Yes. Okay. Yes. Keep score. If we're saving the scores to the end, though, we're going to have to say them out loud to <laughs> do it that way. That's okay. We'll just, we'll figure it out. I do worried. it what way? Never mind. On one paper? Yeah. You mean like I can't write my score down and then hand it to you and oh. you write yours down? Oh. 
So five for smell and five for appearance. Okay. <clears throat> Let's just say them. Do you want to just say them? <laughs> That's fine. So I'm going to go with a... So for your cherry one... Should we just pick our favorite at the end instead of like going yeah. in like... Because I... I mean, well, I don't know. Let's rank our top three at the end. Okay, deal. Yes. Never mind. Just kidding. <laughs> Cut that. That's too much work. You gotta pick your. Do you remember which one that is? Blue Hawaiian. Okay, you introduce yours. Okay, so we're hoping that these are the right scents because, well, they were in a bag, <laughs> and then the names are on here, and somebody didn't think to take them out in order, <laughs> so that we would know. But I think we figured it out. And <laughs> just based off of the colors, I thought that this one was probably Belle of the Ball because the yellow really reminded me of Belle's dress from yeah. Beauty and the Beast. Like Beauty and the Beast. Yeah, that's why it's spelled Belle. B -E -L. <laughs> I and, didn't even know that. Of, of the ball. Okay. You know, balls. Okay. 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 Yeah. I thought they were talking about Le'Veon Bell for some reason. <laughs> I, I was thinking, well, it is kind of like a Steelers helmet, except, you know, pink and purple, <laughs> the yellow. Uh, anyway, I got blue Hawaiian. Yeah, this is the outside of the soap here. Mm -hmm. So the design's on the inside. Oh, okay. I think I watched one of her lives one time. No she way. had like lives making the soap and it was <laughs> really intriguing. Wow. So now comes the real test. The oh, there's glitter in this one. <laughs> <laughs> the smell test. Right. Ooh. Oh, dude. Oh. Ooh, I like that. Blue Hawaiian. I do like that. We smells have to smell like, it like five times to it smells you know, like get everything. A smurf that lives in Hawaii. <laughs> No, you know what it actually smells like is Sonic Ocean Water, which is one of my favorite drinks of all time. So makes sense. Definitely, a, you can even smell the coconut in it. Definitely, super duper good. This one, this one is absolutely just aesthetically gorgeous. Yes, it does have glitter. So I would not recommend this one if you didn't want glitter on you. I mean, I haven't used it with water, so the glitter might fall off, but. You know what? I'm just going to call myself Edward because I sparkle. <laughs> okay, so next. <laughs> I have been dying to do this one. So I did smell a couple of these earlier, but the good news is, is I was just trying to figure out the um, names of them because somebody took all the labels off and didn't remember which one was which. <laughs> Luckily, we had taken a picture, the thumbnail, um, and so we were able to you know, piece it back together. <laughs> <coughs> okay. But I really like this one. So gonna... Soap review. <laughs> this oh, one I'm is sorry. Country Spice. And just right off the bat, this is awesome looking. It looks like a crown, and I just love the colors. Absolutely love it. Let's see yours. So mine's that one that I don't know how to pronounce. Um, car carnelian? carnelian? Carnelian. I say Carnelian. That's probably not right, but oh well. Um, very astounding aesthetically pleasing um i mean the colors aren't like super bright but i do like these you know more neutral colors but my favorite part of this one and there's also glitter on this one. why do i get the glitter ones um there is a crystal in the top of it and i love crystals and collect crystals so that is coming to me for sure yeah it's really the cherry on top of that soap <laughs> 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 Woo! <laughs> Wasn't that funny, but you know, yeah. every once in a while he has one that's decent, so we gotta give him credit. Most of the time, he is dad joke central. Um, he gets that from his dad. Sorry, but yes. All right, smell okay, test. smell time. Oh Ooh. my gosh! I wish you guys could smell this mm. right now. Is the carnelian a flower? I don't know. Can we get a camera that people can smell soap through? Can that be our next investment? They don't make those. Oh, I'm sorry. Anyway, <laughs> this smells like fresh time. That's what it smells like. It smells like walking into fresh time. That's like, ah. 
Seriously, it smells like fresh thyme. I love it. <coughs> Good work, Taryn. This Good one's work. this one's definitely I be, I feel like is more of a floral scent. So, but it is absolutely amazing. Very easy. It's not like super punch you in the face flowery. It's like the perfect flowery. Mm. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Not overbearingly flowery. Definitely <laughs> another good quality of her soap. I think I'm going to pick this one now. I believe this one is the Blueberry Maple. Um, definitely can tell that it's got some blueberry stuff in it. It kind of reminds me of the Canadian flag. So I wonder if like that, like, like a blue... <laughs> Like a maple leaf thing. It's like the red bars on the side of the... <laughs> Don't do that's it. That's not red. That's brown. What? Yeah, that's like a brown color. That is red. That's brown. And that's Which because you get? blueberry and maple, because maple trees are brown. Maple oh. syrup is brown, so the blue and the... I think it looks like the Canadian flag, but anyway. Which one did you get? I don't think it looks anything like the Canadian flag. Yeah, it looks like just like the Canadian flag. Insert Canadian flag picture here. <laughs> totally just like the Canadian flag. All what, right. what, what do you have? Okay, so I picked this one because of the name, because I am a huge coffee person. So this is chai tea latte. I've always wanted to try chai tea. It's good. Never had it. It's good. I might have. We used to drink a lot of tea. Probably. Time. I need to try it again though. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like a Starbucks version. It's good. Lots of Okay, blueberry <clears throat> maple. Sorry. Oh, mm. dude. Okay, I don't think there's a bad one here. No. Mm -mm. This one, you definitely, nice. definitely smell the blueberry in this. Like, when I smell this, it reminds me of that uh, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory where that fat kid ate that blueberry. Like, that, I feel like my head's going to explode from all okay, the blueberry. Okay, hold on. Is that what happened? No. Oh. No, the bubblegum chewing girl. Oh. Ate the blueberry. Okay, that, that's what I meant. That That's how it smells to me, but... The other, the kid you were talking about fell into the chocolate waterfall. Oh. Wait, which version are you talking? I don't know. What does your smell like? <laughs> I think I've only seen Charlie in the chocolate factory. Oh, well, that's okay. You're not missing anything from the other one. It has Johnny Depp in it. You gotta go with the Johnny Depp one. Yeah, I like the Johnny Depp one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No offense to the original, because I grew up on the original, but anything that Johnny Depp does is magical. Except Anyways. Amber Heard. <laughs> <laughs> Count it. <laughs> mm. So I feel like I'm getting more of the chai scent than I am the latte scent on this, but it still smells phenomenal. Mm -hmm. Phenomenal. Okay. Well, I like how you stood that one up, even though it's a lay down one. I feel like we've done them all, so we have to go in reverse Well, now. nobody has done mold cider. Okay, called it. Okay, I'll do grapefruit. Cider. Okay, so this one is called what? Mold cider. Mold cider. Well, it definitely looks cidery, and you're doing the... The grapefruit. Grapefruit. Okay, you're going to like that. You one have to do sure. this one last. Okay, all right, I'll do that one last. Okay. Oh, dude, that's cidery. Ooh. That is very, very cidery. This reminds me of like a, like a dream sickle. I love dream sickle. <laughs> dude, mm. yes, that cider one. That is legit. Mm. That is so legit. I really want a dream sickle. Yeah, you should try to eat that. And see no, if it tastes mm. like one. no, I'll pass. <laughs> okay, so I'll. I didn't do this spice. one. All right. We're going to have to try hard to remember which ones we've done. Now I'm on to the, that's why I wanted to do both of them at once, but. Um, <laughs> okay, we got this. So I got the cherry on top one now. So that one was. Carnelian. Carnelian. Oh my gosh. And then I've got the country spice. So let's walk into fresh. I do really like this Dude, one. That smells like fresh the time. I'm the aesthetic. You. I love the aesthetic on this one. Okay. okay. Oh my oh. gosh! Huh? Huh? It does smell like... Oh, that is amazing. It smells like fresh thyme. Oh, we gotta go to fresh thyme. I see what you mean about this one not being overbearingly flowery, but it, yeah. the flower is there, though, definitely. But I super duper like the crystal on top. That is a nice touch. Too bad, it's mine. Okay, <laughs> sorry. We gotta go to fresh thyme soon. That makes me miss it. 
Yeah, so I love fresh time. Okay, I didn't do this one. I didn't do this one. This one is Bell of the oh, wait, Ball. I'm do this one. Okay. Which one do you have? Oh, I have the uh, blueberry maple. Okay. I'm the not right. Canadian flag. I'm right about the the Charlie and the Chocolate Factory thing, though. That's what you'll think of. Ooh. Dude, Bell of the Ball. Mm. This might end up being the the Bell of the Bars of Soap. <laughs> oh, that is really nice. This, Definitely getting the blueberry. Dude, this reminds me of like what the bouquet probably smelled like that she's picking in the beginning of the movie, isn't she? Picking a bouquet at some point or somebody hands her one. Because they're like she's yellow. She's got flowers at some point. Yeah. In time. Yeah. That's what it reminds me of. Very, very good. I like mm. that one too. I love this one. That blueberry. It just hits you in the it, face. It's, a, it's nice. It's yes. very nice. Very good. Okay, chai tea latte for me. And blue Hawaiian for me. Okay. Ooh. Oh, dude, definitely chai tea latte. Oh, yeah. Oh. I wonder if it tastes any good. Don't. This reminds me of what your breath smells like when we go to Sonic. <laughs> After we go to Sonic. I told you. I told you. That's ocean water, dude. That's what that smells oh, like. Oh, yeah. And that's a compliment that for sure. That's good. Okay, so the last one I have is mold cider. And the last one I have is and this. And that one is that. Yep. Yeah. Let me Cherry. smell. I'm gonna smell my mold cider first. Oh, your okay. reaction's gonna okay. be great on that. Oh, I didn't even notice. There's a little bit of cold there. Ooh, dude. Oh, that is really it's good. cidery. That's Super very cidery. cidery. <laughs> I just can't get over like how like strong the fragrance fra fragrance is like. <laughs> Normally in the like the handmade soaps that you find, the fragrance isn't very strong, but these You're not finding anything mm. like this at the store, guys. I guarantee that you good. that. It's almost like she takes this much fragrance and just packs it down into this little bitty bar. Yeah. Like it's just it's like good. that. It's I don't good. know how you do it, but you're a okay, miracle worker. So hold on. This is the I think that this is gonna end up being your number one this based is the off cherry. of fragrance. This is the cherry. Are you sure? Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> Called it. Whoa, dude. Oh, the end smells even stronger. How do you do that? <laughs> dude. Yes, because it reminds me of the freaking gumballs I never get because the freaking machine's broken down again at Walmart. Oh, not really. <laughs> so cherry. Cherry. I just to smell it again. Dude, cherry is top. There's not. Let, let me just say, there's not a bad one here. No, for sure. no, they all smell amazing. Look amazing. Just absolutely love all of them. And so that's kind of why we wanted to do it this way. I think we said a little bit about it before, but I use this stuff literally every day. It all washes great. So like a hand washing challenge, it's all gonna be great. So we want to just kind of go based on scent and looks and. Yeah. All of them. They're all great, and I'm going to use all of them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Other than that crystal. That's yours. Yeah, that's mine. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm thinking that we should do, we should pick our, our top two winners, one being the top for fragrance and one being the top for aesthetics. Okay. All right, I like it. Okay. So each of us will pick our top. Yes. Okay. You pick your top fragrance and top aesthetic. I'll pick mine. Let's start with fragrances. So my top fragrance, without a doubt, is this cherry. I have never smelled anything more cherry in my entire life. Not even cherries. Or cherry. <laughs> Not even cherries. Not even cherries. Not even cherries. Not so even that's cherries. that's my number one fragrance. What about you? Um. So my number one fragrance is the cherry. Oh my gosh. I just Dude. I don't know I don't know why but I'm also really drawn to um, fruity smells um, like anytime we buy candles we buy fruity scents oh, that's true yeah always buy fruity scents I like the sweet smell um, but yeah cherry would have to be my favorite like I love the smell of all of them but oh. cherry has got to be the cherry on top I would say so since we both picked this as our top fragrance I would say just for me. My number twos would either be the Fresh Time one, just because it's very nostalgic. I mean, this smells just like Fresh Time, if you like that smell. I also liked the Bell of the Ball one quite a bit, fragrance-wise. Did you have any other ones that stood out to you? Yes. Um, mine would have to be the Carnelian scent. Um, the, the floral scent was very perfect on that. And then, obviously, I gotta go 
my other fruit smell, and it would be grapefruit. <laughs> it's up there. Yeah, it would be grapefruit. The other ones also smell great, but if I had to pick, those, it would be those. And everybody has their favorite scents. Okay. Looks-wise, I picked fragrance first. You're going to have to pick the looks one first. Okay, so the looks one, I, in all honesty, think I have a tie. Okay. For number one. Okay. Um, and they are all aesthetically pleasing, but I think if I had to choose, it would be a tie between these two. Okay. And I, I don't know what it is, but I love the swirl design with the different colors. I love all of the different colors in it. So, I mean, that's why I would have to choose these two as my top because, I mean, it's tie-dye. Yes. And you know what I just looked, whenever you did that, like, that kind of reminds me of, like, the uh, pane glass windows in, like, a giant Catholic church. You know what I mean? Like, all the colors that go, come through. But then I also thought I saw a deer head in there. But anyway, I'm with you on this one. This would definitely be in my top two for sure. Maybe even one. The other one, obviously, that I thought was really cool is just the little crystal on top. I mean, this this soap, other than that, is kind of just a flat color. Um, but that swirl. is just... Okay, there's some swirls in there. But for the most part, you know, definitely not as cool looking just as a soap as that one is, as that one is. Um, this one, maybe to a lesser degree. But the crystal on top, dude, that is fancy. So, yeah. yeah, I'd say my top two looks-wise are those two. But, again, guys, there's not a bad one out there. Not a bad soap in the selection. Um, she's got a bunch of different scents. These are not the only scents. Uh, these are just the ones we got this time. And we do kind of like to try to buy different scents that we haven't had before. And, I mean, that way, you know, you're trying new ones. You might find something you didn't realize you liked or any or something like that. And th there are some scents that, you know, she does on, like, a seasonal basis as well. Mm -hmm. um, so they're, they're, like, limited time. And if you don't get them while they're hot, you, you ain't getting any. I found that out. So, uh, you know, in closing, uh, I mean, I've got a couple of things that we probably need to get to. So first of all, um, like and subscribe to our channel. Uh, if you like Adventure with the Vices, we, we've been doing a lot of different things lately, and it's been a lot of fun. Definitely hit that subscribe button, like, comment, do all that good stuff. Second of all, definitely hit up uh, Taryn and... Um, Tag Soapery. Tag Soapery. The rebrand, he's yeah. a little... Like, if the rebrand hadn't happened, which I'm really glad it did, though, for her, but he always knew it as Small Town Suds, yeah. and so that's what he... And trying to figure out how to <laughs> say Tag Soapery. Um, we will put the links to those pages in the description below this video, so please give her a look. Um, see if there's anything that piques your interest, and support this small local business. She's got so much stuff. I also wanted to say, guys, well, first of all, along the, um, along the tag soapery business, make sure you let her know the vices sent you. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Do you have anything else? No. <laughs> I, I'm gonna go, uh, use one of these, though. <laughs> all right. Sounds good. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Peace.